truth to become optional. We will never surrender to the woke mob. Florida is where woke goes to die. Oh, I love that. Welcome back to Saturday Report. I'm Lydia Serrani. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis is fighting the good fight against the woke radical left. And our next guest has eyes on the ground. Joining us now is CEO of Optima Ed and Mamas for DeSantis, Erica Donalds. Welcome to Saturday Report. Thanks so much for having me, Lydia. So talk to us about this woke ideology you have seen infiltrating our schools. And obviously, as a mother myself, it is so important to fight back on this indoctrination. Early, earlier this week, I had showed this video. I put it on my Twitter where you see these uh, this teacher and she has a puppet on her lap and she's teaching four and five year olds about they's and them's and non-binary. And the kids were just totally confused and more focused on the, the puppet's uh, shirt and why there were stars on it. And then the girl, the little girl said, Said, oh, it's a he. And she's like, no, it's a they. Why are they doing this to our children? I just don't understand it. Why? Because this is part of the leftist agenda, Lydia. We've seen this infiltrate our schools for many, many years. And unfortunately, now they are bolder than ever. And this queer theory, this gender ideology, the CRT is all rampant in a lot of public schools and frankly, private schools. Um, and it's something that parents have really not seen uh, and overlooked in a lot of ways. But thanks to the pandemic, one good thing that came about was that parents were able to see a lot that was going on in the schools. A lot was exposed. And in these past couple of years, the teachers unions have been so bold as to say that we need to teach these things in our schools. And it's just really blown up in their faces. MSNBC host uh, Joy Reid, she's been she's criticized Ron DeSantis for blocking an AP black history course because, uh, you know, it looks like that this is indoctrination and not education. Uh, but take a listen to what she said. You know, I'm not saying Ron DeSantis is racist, but to quote Andrew Gillum, I think the racist might think he's racist. Meanwhile, this course is basically CRT disguised. And I also want to, you know, people, if, if you're going to talk about African-American history, what about Chinese-American history, Hispanic-American? I mean, it just goes on and on. So what, what's your take on this? The fact is that African-American history is required to be taught in Florida schools. It is in our statute. It is in our curriculum. It is in our standards. This course is an AP course. One quarter of it is rampant with CRT. The writings that are suggested are Marxist writings. And Ron DeSantis, rightfully so, said this violates Florida law. We do not teach CRT in our K-12 institution, and the College Board needs to revise the course so that we can teach it in Florida. Three quarters of it is fine. Three quarters of it is about African American history, and we want to teach that in our schools, but we will not allow them to sneak in CRT, Marxism, intersectionality, queer theory into an AP course in the state of Florida. I also want to get your thoughts on this. Professors are teaching students that referring to someone as an American citizen is now a radicalized term and associated with whiteness. I mean, are these people living in reality at this point? Well, we know they are not patriots. They're not American patriots. We've seen people politicize the American flag. We live in this great country, and we are teaching children not to be proud of the country that we live in. This is the greatest economic system, uh, liberty system in the entire history of the world. And that's Absolutely. what we should be teaching our children. It's unfortunate that these people hate America so much, because America is the reason why they have the free speech that they have to say how much they hate America. I couldn't agree. I couldn't agree with you more as a first generation American myself. This is the greatest country in the world and will remain to be so. Thanks to people like you, Erica Donalds. Thank you for so much that you do.